Hi everyone, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. As you can see in that little video clip, obviously I can't play the music for copyright reasons. That is a little boy, six year old by the name of Lil RT or something like that. And since I cannot play the music, I'm gonna read some of the lyrics to that song and then we're gonna discuss this. If she ain't sucking eggplant, Lil Ish, you can get the F up out of my ish. Hundred round, hit him with the Glock. Take a effort down. Hundred round. Ish, we hitting that kill. We going to take him down. Twelve, get behind me. We going to do 60 effing miles. Yeah. Now, I think that this is disgusting. I think that our community is lost. And a lot of people might want to say, well, this is just a small percentage of our community. Well, if that's the case, why isn't there more outrage about this foolishness? And a few months ago, I did a video on mothers being the first teachers of their children. I also said that a lot of black mothers within our community teach their children, both their, their sons and their daughters, how to be ghetto and ratchet. Now, here's the thing. You have these little kids, and I've said this before, they can rap every lyric in the most disgusting songs that little children should not be exposed to or singing, but they don't know how to read or do math. And my former sister-in-law, she was a teacher, and she was telling me like 20 years ago that some of her students and OK, let me just say this real quick. Some of her black students, her male students in particular, were in the ninth grade, but were at a fourth grade reading level. And she said that the school administration was trying to get her to like push them, them through anyway. And she refused. I think she ended up just going to another school district. And then she also told me that the same white kids in a, another school that she taught, let's say they were in the fifth grade, they were already in college prep um, courses. This is on mothers. I don't care what anybody say. So many women are so busy. You know, they, they put more stock into their weave and their eyelashes and trying to get another man that they neglect their children. This is neglect. And some people might look at this and say, oh, this is harmless. He's just a little boy having fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. But to me, this is a stereotype and a narrative that should just start dying and going away. This to me is proof positive that many in our community do not want to grow and evolve. Why is a little six-year-old singing about effing and eggplants and shooting people? No one sees an issue with this. And as I've said in the previous video, I know I sound like a broken record. You have so many black women that think that going to another race male is the answer because black males are this, that, and the other. But who are raising these black males? This little boy is six and he should still be under the guidance, tutelage and the training of his mother. And I remember I read somewhere uh, might have been Kevin Samuels that said it that boys need their mothers up until seven. And then after seven, you know, you know, he should really have like a strong male figure in his life. The child is under the age of seven. And I, I just find this highly disturbing. And what's more disturbing is the fact that more people would be upset with me for talking about this instead of being upset with this actual behavior. I, I see nothing. I, I see nothing. It, good about this. Let's put it that way. 
And since uh, I'm talking about mothers raising, doing a poor job raising their children, I'm going to show you this image right here. I wanted to talk about this some time ago. You know, you have this mother and her little girl giving the middle finger to a camera. Again, I, I don't see anything sweet and, you know, leading to like a decent life later on. Could be and could be not. So, again, it really bothers me when I see, you know, so many women and, you know, some of the men, too, that think that the grass is going to be greener on the other side, you know, by going to another race, which I have no issue with that. But my issue is, my issue is, is when you all are the ones raising the future generation and you do a piss poor job about it, then you want to complain later on. This little boy, and I don't want to speak ill over his life, but at six years old, he's singing these lyrics you can already tell there's no good guidance in his life. I, I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to speak ill over the rest of his life because he could go on to live a prosperous life. But we also know just based on observation of what goes on in our community is highly unlikely. And we are just too comfortable embracing ratchet, ghetto destructive behavior within our community. So that was my topic for today. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think that this was appropriate? And I know I was a little bit heated on this, but I I'm just tired of our community embracing the wrong things. Our priorities are mix mixed up and we are not interested in trying to move forward out of this stuck mindset. It's ridiculous. That's my opinion. But tell me what you think and I'll talk to you later. Bye.